Hey guys, how's it going? Today, we're gonna show you how I make a holster like this. This is one of my most popular sellers in the different sizes. This is the um, outside the waistband with the bullet loop, so it'll hold you an extra reload there. Belt loop sewn onto the back. So, this is for a customer, not this one, but the one we're gonna build is for a customer today, and we're gonna do a little build along. So, let's get started on how we make these. So since that is my most popular seller, I do have dies cut out. So I go over to my clicker press and I click out this shape here. This is the little wax from the thing. This is the beginning of the holster, okay? Got my logo stamped. I've got, I don't know if you could see, but I've got real light impressions here for this, where the stitch line's gonna go inside and out and a little note here to let me know what the caliber is going to be and you'll never see that because that's also where the glue line is going to be so that piece we've already got cut out the other piece that goes in are these this is what my ammo slips look like before they're finished so you have each rivet hole and you have the loop where the bullet loops going to slide into so this is what the bullet loops look like before. I don't mind the dye on my fingers. So this is what the bullet loops look like. It's about an eight and a half inch strip. I will, I skive down an end with this tool here. So it makes it easier to weave in and out. And I also do the edge guide tool, edge groover, just to put a little, it's just a subtle little look there, but it definitely, it makes a big difference from being plain. Here's one that's, I haven't done it yet. Just plain, it, it just adds a little extra to it. So all you do for that is you take this edge groover here and just ride light alongside. Do light pressure because you don't wanna go through the die. That way it makes kind of a gray, gray streak. Then I take the skiver and I hit an edge like that. Basically just make it half the thickness even though none of that was on camera, I just apologize. And then I cut a little point at the end to make it even easier. So now that is ready. And these guys, go ahead and do them too. While we're here, there's no specific form or anything to it. Just make it a little easier to weave. Okay, so now those are all ready to be weaved into this. But first, we have to get these wet. So let me go get them wet and we'll go on to the next step. All right, so now our straps are wet. What you do is you go into this slot right here, like so, you see that? And you fold this over, like so. This is four to five ounce, by the way. I use uh, eight to nine ounce for my holsters. This is four to five ounce. This is a hole puncher. Go right through that rivet hole and punch a hole. And sometimes it doesn't want to go through all the way, so you gotta punch a little harder off camera. There we go. Now we got a hole all the way through. What we do is we slap a rivet in there from the bottom. Fancy top goes on the front. I just leave that set there for right now. Now we get the bullets. Real professional. Anyway. So these are fake bullets I buy that are properly sized, but they just have some kind of metal in there. Lead, I don't know what it is. Either way, it's not a real bullet. So you will tear your real bullets up, FYI. Anyway, so now we go back through that same loop that we went through, see this? 
back to the same loop here. Just like that. Put that bullet in, and then we got to pull it tight, like this. Get it real snug. Make sure it's super tight. And then we go back, this is the bottom. Go back through. Push that down flat as you can. See it's gone through. Go back through the same hole again. Pull it down. I find if you do it that way, it doesn't bunch up in the middle. Get your other bullet. Pull it tight. Just like that. Make sure it's straight. Make sure everything's tight. And you punch that hole again. And there you go. Goes through all the way. Trim this piece here. I gotta do it off the edge here. Sorry. See that trimmed? Cut the excess off. Stick you another rivet in there. Fancy side out front. Boom. Now what I would do, I have to change the dies and everything, but you, I would go over and uh, press these rivets so they're secure. I only leave the bullets in here for one or two minutes at the most. I don't leave them in there very long. They're gonna be real tight when you get it, but these loops, it's inevitable with any kind of bullet loops, they get loose over time. So I make them as tight as possible from the beginning to where you're not having to hammer the bullets out, of course, but it'll give you the longest, longest life for them. So you go ahead and pull those out. And those bullet loops are formed just like that. There's different ways of doing it where you could sew it and things like that. I do it this way because it is faster uh, during for production time. Cause I don't have to make a loop, stop, sew it, make a loop, stop, sew it, make a loop, stop, sew it. You see what I mean? I like to keep them affordable for you guys, <laughs> but I like the way, I think this looks a lot cleaner too. You don't have a bunch of crazy stitch lines and stuff going. So anyway, that's that for now. You'd let this dry for a little bit so you're not putting it on the holster wet. This glue won't stick very well. And then on to the next step. Next up on deck here, we have this this bad boy. So what we're going to do is we get this a little wet. So it's easier to fold. Not soaked or anything, just damp it a little bit. that soak in. This is going to be your belt loop. This is a roughing tool. So I just know where everything goes just about now because I built so many of those, but this is where you'd follow your pattern where your stitch line is going to be to sew this up and you're going to rough it <clears throat> so the glue will stick better that nice and roughed up and we fold it over just like that and now make sure it's lined up there so it looks nice and everything now we've made our belt loop so we make a pattern do our scratch all so we know where it's gonna sew I'm going underneath because I don't want to go on the outside because it'll leave a scratch mark where you could see. So I kind of go underneath and scratch it up too. It's easier just to scratch it with this because it's such a, you don't want to go too far over or anything like that. This isn't rocket science. Just needs to be roughed up. Give the glue something to stick to. So while this is drying, we're going to put a little bit of glue here and we're going to clamp this and we're going to let this dry so it could be sewn and then we put this piece on next so 
you do it the same way. You, once it's dry, you put it where it's gonna go. Sorry, put it where it's gonna go. I scratch around the outline. Scratch it up just like that and then glue that down and sew it. So we'll come back after that portion of the video. All right, so this is the glue is dried. I have stitched the ammo slip on. I've stitched the belt loop back. Also marked this so I know what caliber it is once it's all put together. Now comes the fun part of gluing this together. You put the glue right here on these lines I marked. Like so. It's my fancy glue pot. And it goes together like this with a few clips to hold it on. Like so. And then we're gonna let that bad boy dry. What we do after that is we sand this edge so it's all nice and even. And then I will stitch it up closed. And it's almost a holster then. So here we go. We've skipped a few steps uh, as far as the wet molding goes and stuff like that. But if you've seen one soggy holster, you've seen them all. <laughs> Basically what you do after it's put together and sewn, put it in a thing of warm water for about 15 to 30 seconds. And then you put the uh, gun mold in there. Or if you're making one, out of your own holster, out of your own gun, obviously you take the, you put the gun in plastic. You don't want to put a gun into a wet holster, obviously. So here it is. Here's the finished project. It's going home. This man is anxiously awaiting the arrival. So I hope you like it and I hope it was worth the wait for you. Thanks for watching.